Hi guys, thank you so much for being here and I really do hope you're doing well. Today it's a tutorial on the sheep shanks knot. Here it is. Essentially a sheep shanks knot is used to shorten a length of rope. Here we see two single strands. Say if um, I think this is about a three, four meter piece of cord and we can get it down fairly short. Here are the ends here. We've got it down to sort of roughly a meter. The strands are in the middle and they're held off. Let me talk you through how to make one of these. Okay guys, so in order to do the sheep shank, you're gonna get your piece of cord. You're going to stretch it out between your two fingers like this. You're gonna lower this hand and grab the cord that's sort of drooping down from the other hand and then do the same over here. That gives you almost like a Z, what we're gonna call the Z here, Z shape. So we're gonna place that down just to make it easier. So you've got your Z shape. You're going to make a loop in the standing end over here and you're going to grab this piece through that end and then cinch it all up there. And you're going to do the exact same on this end. So coming over on the single piece, making a loop, through that loop, grabbing the bit of that big Z and again, cinching it up. Once you've done that, you can pull both ends tight and when you pull them, they will hold those loops and you've shortened your, your cordage quite considerably. And you can pull as hard as you like on that, that is not going to come out. There is an, a benefit of this as well, because you haven't really tied anything, you've just cinched things up, you can pull this middle part and just by pulling it, your, your cordage becomes instantly available to you again. There is another way that I've seen a sheep shank's not done. Uh, it's to make three loops like this, next to each other and to reach through these loops and grab the middle loop. Reach through the two end ones, grab in the middle, uh, tightening it up. There we go. And you could obviously make that as big or as short as you want with the loops. Um, but just like the, the other sheep shank that I've just shown you, you can just pull it and it comes straight apart. While using a sheep shank snot, it's very important that the pressure is going to be a constant. You don't want to be using the sheep shank snot if your cord is literally going to be moving around like this because it will work loose. I'll try and examine that. There we go. See, it works loose straight away. That's not going to be any good if you're requiring that piece of cord to be secure. So just bear that in mind. Guys, if you have any questions about the sheep shank snot or any tips uh, you can share with the community, please do drop them in the comment section down there. And until the next video, take care. Bye-bye now. Happy bushcrafting.